Hello everyone and welcome back to Shea Games Library channel, welcome back to Astarton. In previous episode we started this city and it was a start packed with many features. We have built a nice starting interchange, city received dedicated industrial zone, we managed to make city profitable with electricity export and we even took some time to build around one of the more interesting locations on this uh, map. So you might want to check that episode out, I think it's uh, very interesting. But just like any other city, Asterton have some problems and it seems we are in deficit on higher educated citizens. That is not uh, of course really a problem, we can always uh, build a high school and people will get educated and the problem will be solved. But at the same time it's uh, not very realistic to have elementary and high school in a city of only 2000 residents. So, we will use high school as a jump board to start expanding our city across the river. And that's easy to say and not so easy to get done. How this area is a giant slope and this uh, terrain is, uh, in my opinion, very hard to build on. Just look at the terrain height difference in this uh, area. But on the other hand, this uh, part of the map have another interesting location that I just have to use and that's why I will turn this into this and I do hope you will like final build. If you find anything you like in today's episode, leave a comment, press that like button and of course subscribe. It will help uh, this series to gain more visibility and it will be a strong signal that Asterton is doing great.
We are going to our special project for this episode. This Stonehenge structure is a relic from a long forgotten era of uh, human history and it was most likely used to cal calculate uh, when winter will come so people can actually prepare for the winter. City dedicated some funds to this site in effort to create tourist attraction in this area and established park maintenance to protect this part of our history. And since now we have high school, they can organize uh, small field trips to this historical site and uh, some other sites in this area and students can learn firsthand out in the open. Small businesses soon opened their shops here and a tiny village was formed. Just 